So here we are with my friend Morris. We're about to head off down to Wombat Flat and hopefully South Bischoff. Feeling fit? No. I'll let you know after. <laughs> okay. Right. Rather gloomy, Waratah weather, but we're looking forward to it. Scotch mist. Okay. Very good. Getting a bit stony down here. Still on the way down towards Wombat Flat. 1.4k from the um, creek crossing at Wombat Flat. Getting a bit excited, only roughly 200 metres to go according to my GPS. The country to the south is opening up. We're getting rather close to Wombat Flat. Just approaching the Ramsey River, as I used to call it, Wombat Creek. Now that's a very appropriate jacket you've got on there, Morris. Yes. Please explain. Turn around and explain why that, why you've got that on. Oh, I found it. <laughs> In a garage sale. It was in a bag that wouldn't open. I opened the bag and there it was. And it's, it says I've got a university education on here somewhere, oh. which is absolutely wrong. Well, I think it's very appropriate for today. It is, absolutely. Okay, now can you figure a way across there without getting wet? Maybe, yeah. <laughs> yes. Well, just arrived at Wombat Flat and I found a man who lives here. Oh, hi. How are you? Yes, welcome to Wombat Flat. Beautiful downtown, sunny. Yeah. Sunny, did uh, you say? Sunny? Uh, my residence. Oh. <laughs> Harry's Cafe de Wheel. A beautiful event, adventure. Come inside. <laughs> I think that was the uh, top of the snow. Now, I don't have a media pass. Am no, I still allowed a, in? That's an issue, yes. Yes, you may come, you may come in, but the light's not going to be a real flesh patch. <laughs> uh, Close line, which is essential in this weather, I would suggest. Um, it's a box. It's a bed. It's another one. I've got no idea. It's the kitchen. The pantry behind the door. It's the most intact part of the place. It's the cupboard there. I've got some beautiful timber in that window frame still. Lovely, lovely bit of celery or something in the window, so it's still on the window, Yeah. Flat iron, it indicates it's not that old. Yeah. Well, somewhere around here years ago, I remember a blacksmith shop. Bits of metal and that all laying around here. So just around the front of the van, I found, found these few bits and pieces. Uh, that's cast iron, I would think. So I might go into there, and there's another piece there, and another bit of something there, maybe the remains of horse material, perhaps, hard to know. This enormously complicated item here is actually just a bracket for a fire extinguisher from more recent times. So let's keep looking. Yeah. Look at these uh, lovely old trees here, Winston. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not quite sure they're myrtles, are they, perhaps? Oh, beautiful. I suppose. Well, mm. it just goes up and up and up and up and up. Yeah. And there's a Another one alongside it that used to be as tall. If you go around to your left a bit, there's a stand of three or four there that are all similar sort of trees. Over, over there's a beautiful little stand of trees. Yeah, we're just on our way up from one bat flat towards the plateau towards South Bishop. Yes, lovely in here. Well, I still see man ferns over in there, so I don't know what that's worth. Hasn't been there that long, there's almost like there's a track out through there. Mm. But anyway, that's another day. There's a bit of an obstacle, Morris. Yes, uh, 
Get another? Yeah. I'll show you how it's done. Uh. Right? That wasn't very dramatic. No, sorry. You're supposed to fall over. Well, go back and see if I can fall in. That'd be easy six foot through at the bottom. So this is. Uh, well, I could say this is one I prepared earlier, like the one that's standing up, but the one that's standing up is considerably bigger than that. It's mm. a pretty substantial timber and a nice lot of growth of one sort and another on top, but you can get an impression from me alongside it that it's a, it's a good sized log. Oh, I've just come over the plateau from Wombat Flat and started to tip down the southern side. Um, we're less than... Um, 400 metres from the turn off now. Um, very soon we should be out here. Um, I think it's Aylet Creek. Can't just yet, but uh, all is going well. What have I found? I found the shirt from the Dago Hotel. Now, if my mate Dave Wilson happens to watch this, Dave almost lives at the Dago oh. Hotel sometimes these days. So, uh, well, there you go. There you are, Dave. Should I save this for you? It's no, it's not. It's, oh, it's not your size. It's only an XL. But we can we oh. can leave it here for you, Dave, when you come over. Yes, yes, just south of Wombat Flat. Until next time. Okay. Well, things are happening. My GPS just beeped at me and said we're approaching South Bischoff Track Turnoff. And I said to Morris, we haven't crossed the creek yet. We came over the hill, and here we are. I think it's Palmer Creek. Just about to cross that. It's a poor little creek, Winston. <laughs> it looks really impressive here. Yeah. But if you look up there, yep. Well, I, think, I think it's here under full potential. Oh. A little thing only a foot wide and a couple of inches deep. Well, there you it's go. Toy. There you look go. Look at all that sand in there. If you got in there with a pan, you know, the amount of tin and good stuff you'd find in there. <laughs> well. We just passed the creek and we're coming up the hill and this is uh, quite momentous. Uh, the road to Mount Ramsey goes out there. Then Morris has got something here to show us. Yeah, yeah I picked, picked this up just here. There's a few bits like it about. So it's a piece of quartz from what little I know about geology with black lines through it that might be tin, I don't know. I did think did think I found a couple of shiny bits in here. There's a little shiny piece there that looks like something or other, but whether you'd catch it or not, I don't know. But it's just, well, okay. it, could, it could be, or it might be just my imagination. Right. Okay, well, the thing is, that track looks track like track. our track. Is that the one you want? I think so. I'm sure so. Yeah, so right. let's go. This is where we think we turn off and head towards South Bishop. Well, here we are, back at Wombat Flat. We have a story to tell. Oh, do we have a story to tell? Uh, where should we start? It rained. It's a yes. bit. Uh, we, we found the track. We found the track. We turned off the track. We could see a road. Oh, wow! And then we saw a tree. A wall of scrub. <laughs> so we went this way and that way, and I lost Morris that direction. He, then he'd turn up here. Yes, wild country, wild country indeed. So we progressed in there. How far? You mm, 150, 200 metres, maybe. Oh, no, it'd have to be more than that, surely. It felt like it. <laughs> it felt. Yes, it was, it was following a well-made road. Yes. Past the past the yes. Was grown in yeah, yeah. For a short period, we could tell we were on the road. You could see clearly we were on a road. Uh, unfortunately, we just found that the bower. It's just so. It's terrible. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> and we, we may not have been very far from a thoroughfare through the trees, a corridor through the trees, I don't know. Yes, it certainly looks different from the air to what yeah. it looks from 
on, yeah. the, on the ground. So the end result is that we got closer than you've been, but... Yes, yes, but. oh well, will I ever come back? I don't know. <laughs> Tom, we'll anyway, we, we gave it a, a, a bit of a go. We're back here, it must be after one o'clock now. We're back at Wombat Flat and having lunch. Um, Mickey Mouse watch is 1.30. Mm. And it's um, starting to drizzle, the glass is getting wet, but... Um, all we could do was to turn around, very sadly turn around and head for home. It's about the size of it. Who have we here? Inspector Jones, I believe. I think it's me. <laughs> what have you found? Oh, I'm wondering what that is over there, whether it's just a cupboard or something or other. Yeah. It's uh, nothing. And I've got a few bolts down here. Yeah. That, uh, obviously used for bolting something together. Oh, yes. Yeah. No. Quite substantial long threaded drives. Yes. Lots of rocks. Yeah. I suppose rocks are good. Yep. <laughs> oh. Whatever that is, whatever that is. What's, oh, that's, a, that's an oil filter. Okay. <laughs> yeah, bits of timber of one sort or another. I've got this cheap advertisement again. The media. The media is here. <laughs> yeah, well. Try that light switch beside. Do anything. Yeah, yeah. Nothing across. And there's the light bit of the No, I'm not sure. You want to come in? Oh. No. Ta-da! Shaking table. Wow. Oh, well. Oh, and it still turns. Oh, my God. It's been electric, obviously, at some stage of the flash. Maybe. Okay, so we've got the manufacturer's thing, uh, Wilfully Concentrating Table, Mine and Smelter Supply Company, Denver, Colorado, USA. Manufactured under licence by Clyde Carruthers, Proprietary Limited, Factory Street, Granville, New South Wales. Serial number 2027, and it'll be manufactured in April 1975. <laughs> Great.
Yeah. 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 It looks like it was like an auger in there. Right. It's through and there's a bit of good stuff getting in. Wow. Yeah. Well, there's nuts and bolts as well, but <laughs> yep. one, one assumes that it's yeah. you know, it's like it feels like boot sink. Yep. Apart from the nuts and bolts. Oh never. Well, you certainly made a discovery. Good fun. And that there adjusts the angle, that, that handle, I presume? Yeah. It did like it doesn't adjust maybe to tilt on the table? Like you say, it's heavy. Well, just to get it in here. Yes. Yeah, a bit of lower speed. Oh yes, there's two idle wheels down there. What drove that? I suggest it's worth looking inside there. Okay. So that's some bolts and goodies. I was looking for a spring like that the other day. It's a sieve of some sort of things to me. Put a solid in case we want it. Well, here we are on the way back up the hill, coming up from Wombat Flat. The big decision we have to make. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be useless. <laughs> I went in the hole, nearly fell over. <laughs> well, well played, Mr. Cameron. You should be proud of yourself. <laughs> <laughs>